Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're going to learn how to crochet the Quickie Gift Cow. This is an extremely fast project to work up. This seriously took me about 20 minutes from start to finish. We are going to be using the V stitch, and this cow is completed in just four rounds. And the V stitch is not only a really fun stitch to work up, but it gives a really pretty uh, kind of chunky lace texture for this piece. The finished cow measures about seven inches tall and has a circumference of 26 inches. So for this project, you're going to need a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and your crochet hook. Um, as you can see, this is a very large crochet hook. This is a Q crochet hook and is 15.75 millimeters. Now as a side note, I did a little research on this hook because I don't normally use a hook this large. but some manufacturers make their Q crochet hooks um, in the 16 millimeter size. So this one is 15.75. They also call a Q crochet hook a 16 millimeter. So I just wanted to say that as a side note. Either one is totally fine for this project and will work just as well, okay? So you'll need that uh, hook. So the, the yarn that I'm gonna be using is called, let me grab the label, Red Heart Grande. Now I just did a yarn 101 on this yarn so you can learn all about it here. You can find it at the craft store. And this is a very chunky yarn. It's actually a seven on the yarn weight scale. It's considered a jumbo. So a lot of times on the Fiberflex channel, we use yarn that is a six or a super bulky. This is even thicker than that, a jumbo seven. So um, just so you know, and each ball of this is 46 yards. So it doesn't take a lot of yarn. It's just uh, one ball. So I used one ball of this and actually over to the side here I had a little tiny bit left so I can you know use it for something else. I did I couldn't quite get a fifth round on that so um, it's gonna be four rounds and then a little bit of leftovers. Now you could do a little single crochet edge if you wanted to but um, I did have a tiny bit left but you can make this in one ball or less is um, what I'm getting at here. So this is the Wisteria, our finished cow here. This is uh, the yarn we're gonna be using. This is also Red Heart Grande. This color is called Foggy. So if you're looking for uh, either one of these colors, Wisteria and Foggy, we're gonna be making ours uh, today using the Foggy. And it comes in lots of different colors. So definitely check out that Yarn 101 to see all the colors it comes in as well. So let's get started. Okay, to begin, we're going to put a slip knot on our hook. So to make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up the loop and tighten. Our cow has a starting chain of 30. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. Okay, so here is our starting chain. So what we're going to do now is join and that will create the big ring for our cow. So go all the way down to the first chain that you made. This is the chain farthest from the hook and we're going to join with a slip stitch. So insert the hook into that farthest chain from the hook and wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Okay. So this is gonna be the bottom of our cow. So it'll be like that. Okay, then what we're gonna do is chain four. Now this chain four is gonna count both as a double crochet and a chain one. So one, two, three, and four. Now you can hold this tail along the edge as you work or you can weave it in at the end, it's up to you. So in this first uh, chain that you come to, we're going to work a double crochet. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the chain, 
bring up a loop, you'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Okay, so this is going to form our first V, both this, this chain four and this double crochet we just made. Next, what we're going to do, I'm going to get a little bit more yarn to keep us rolling here. There we go. Okay, next what we're going to do is skip two chains. So let me get this tail out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. So skip one chain, skip another chain, and in that next chain, what we're going to do is work a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet, all in that same chain, and that's going to give us our second V of the round. Okay, so it'll look kind of like that. Okay, so we're just going to continue doing this all the way around. Okay? So skip two chains. One and two, and in the chain after that, work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet, all in that same chain. Skip two chains, one, two, and in the chain after that, do the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. As you can see, because of this very chunky yarn and this very large crochet hook, we are getting some tall, chunky stitches right away. So you're going to get height on this right away. So skip two chains, and in the chain after that, work a double crochet. If you've never worked with a hook this large, um, it might feel a little bit awkward in your hands at first, but after you work a few stitches and at least a round or two, um, it'll feel much more natural. Skip two chains, in the chain after that, work a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Sometimes, too, when you're working with really chunky yarn like this and a large hook, you might need to slightly modify the way you hold your yarn, too. Usually, I like to hook mine around my pinky and then come up over my index finger. That's just totally personal. Everybody holds their yarn different. But when I'm working with chunky yarn, usually I just hold it in my finger and not on my pinky. So, instead of doing it that way. So, moving right along, skip two chains in the chain after that. So we're just doing this all the way around, working a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. We're skipping two chains, and in that third chain, we're doing the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Skip two chains, and in the chain after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. You are going to absolutely zip through this yarn really fast. Skip through two chains, one, two, and in the chain after that do the same thing. Double crochet, get some more yarn, chain one, and a double crochet. Okay, so we're right back where we started with this chain four at the beginning. So what we're going to do to close the round is count three chains. So one, two, three. That third chain up, we're going to join with a slip stitch to close the round. So insert the hook into that third chain up, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. So we close that with a slip stitch. Okay, moving on to round two. We're going to do the same thing we did in the previous round. We're going to, uh, my yarn is shedding a little bit. We're going to chain four. So chain one, two, three, and four. Now you're going to locate that first V, okay? So that is right here. Because see, this is the chain we made. Remember that chain four? Um, was the double crochet in chain one, and then we did another double crochet. So we're going to work a double crochet in that chain one space, that first V you come to. Okay, 
and that will create a V right over top of the V from the previous uh, round. Okay, I'm gonna get a tiny bit more yarn. Just kind of pull it apart a little bit. Okay, next what we're gonna do is locate the next V. So here's the first one, and then we're gonna hop over to this next one, this chain one space um, is what I call it in the written pattern, okay? So the Vs in the V stitch, let's look at our cow here. They stack. See how they stack on top of one another? So we're going to be working each V into the V that came before it. Okay? So what we're going to do is do the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So work a double crochet. Let me slide this yarn over so it doesn't... There we go. And then a chain one, and then a double crochet. All in that chain one space. Just like that. See how my V's now are stacked on top of one another. So we're just going to do this all the way around. Work a V into the center of each V from the previous round. So uh, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. All in that chain one space, the center of each V. Hop over to the next V and work a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. So now we have two rounds. So our cowl is uh, four rounds. So we're getting some nice height on our cowl. It's growing very quickly, okay? All right, so work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the center of the next V. My yarn is creeping over on me. And a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet, the center of the next V. Hop over to the next one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. We are almost done our round already. I'm just going to get straighten out my yarn here. <laughs> okay, so the last V of our round is right here. So we'll just work the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Just like that. Okay, we're back to the beginning. So remember this chain four at the beginning? What we're going to do is the same thing we did in the previous round. Count one, two, three chains up. So right there, we're going to join with a slip stitch to close the round. So insert your hook into that third chain up, wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the loop, bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook, and round two is complete. Now, I'm going to remove my, remove my hook for just a minute. I like to go, whenever I'm doing V-stitch, I like to just kind of straighten things out a little bit. It's everything nice and neat. Now, to finish your cowl, as you can see, we are halfway through exactly. So, because our cowl is a total of four rounds, what you're going to do, we've already done two rounds. What you're going to do is repeat round two. The round that we just did, you're going to repeat it two more times for a total of four rounds. So, go ahead and repeat round two two more times, and then what we're going to do is rejoin, and I'm going to show you how to finish off your cowl. If you need to um, review round two, just um, back up the video a little bit because we're going to do the exact same thing for the next round and the exact same thing for the round after that, okay? So I'm going to repeat round two two more times and then we'll rejoin and finish up our quick cowl. Okay, I'm just working that very last V. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And I have to say, I've only been 
working on these two last rounds for a few minutes. So it's just such a quick cow. And we're just about done. So here is our last V. And then what we're going to do is do the same thing we've been doing. Count one, two, three chains up. That, top, that third chain up, insert to join with a slip stitch. Just like that, okay? So our cow is complete. So let's take our scissors and just snip it. Cut, whoops, cut the yarn. Missed it there. Hang on, let me give that a nice fresh little cut. There we go. <laughs> My scissors were not cooperating. Okay, so, and you can see just, we just have a little bit of yarn left, not a whole lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and fasten that off. And then we're going to turn our cowl inside out. Now it is reversible uh, on both sides, but I'm gonna be weaving my ends in on this side. So I'm gonna call this the inside for, for these purposes here. Okay, so this is a really, really bulky yarn. So I'm gonna to have to give this a nice, strong twist before I put it through the eye of my needle. Now, as you can see, the eye of my needle is pretty uh, large, but this yarn is even larger. So you're gonna to have to give it a nice, strong twist when you thread your needle, okay? And it still fits though, it just takes a little extra effort. Okay, so go ahead and go in one direction. And this yarn is chunky and kind of plushy enough that if you go in between the plies, it's not gonna make a difference. And see how I'm kind of twisting to get it through? Might have to do that a little bit. And then just come back in the other direction, going through the plies, that's fine. Just give it a nice twist, because you're pulling a lot of bulk through a lot of bulk, so it's gonna take a little bit of uh, wiggle. Okay, so that end is woven. Let me grab my scissors, my other scissors, because these scissors, these little scissors were snagging a little bit. Okay, so I got my other scissors. I'm just gonna give that a, a cut. And once again, this is my plies, just from using it and working with it, um, have come apart a little bit. So I'm just gonna give that a fresh cut and that'll make that a whole lot easier when you go to thread your tapestry needle. Just grab the biggest tapestry needle that you have for this one. Okay, go ahead and thread it. And then we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go in one direction with that. Just give it a little twist to help it through. And then come back in the other direction with your tail. There we go. Okay, grab scissors, give it a nice snip. Okay, I'm just gonna clear everything out of the way here. Then we can flip it back out. And if you need to, I like to kind of go through and give it a nice tug just to straighten everything out. So now, in under an hour of actual crochet time, not the discussion of supplies and everything like that, but in under an hour, I made both of these cowls. So these are very quick to make and now I have two little quick gifts that I can save for uh, anyone on my list who might need a little handmade gift and handmade gifts are so nice and you know because this is only one ball of yarn per cow um, it's also a very economical um, kind of thrifty gift as well if you just need a small gift here and there so that is how you crochet the quickie gift cows. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again. Bye -bye.